Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase. I'm your host, Whizbor100, and the game that I'm going to be playing today is Bit Trip Runner. Because I have it, and I haven't played it. At least not till uh, a little bit before yesterday, but... Anyways, I figured I'd showcase that off. And well, let's get on to that. Anyway, so here's Bit Trip Runner. Let's start it. Uh, I, remember, I remember playing this game... I remember playing this game before on, I think the 3DS or something else, but I was kind of not impressed, or not too impressed with it, but I gotta say, this PC version is a lot more interesting. I think it's mainly because I thought $15 was a bit much for this type of title. I would have paid like half of that. So here it shows you your control, you just basically an auto-scroller where you run and dodge things and collect gold, because this, this guy's the millionaire Batman and he has to have money so I'm probably gonna be showing off a few levels uh, to depend or at least 15 minutes worth and then I edit it down to something that's not 15 minutes but we'll see this game goes by pretty fast if you uh, are really fast at just pressing buttons we oh I, I oh I have my things unlocked yeah apparently uh my things unlocked like sliding we or kicking making a rainbow this game this game is fun after playing it and I did get this from a humble bundle so that's also another thing these retro challenges are not actually the levels as I uh, found out later you just try and collect as much gold as you can we went back to an Atari game I also got a little ach a little ach achievement if you bump into the fire you'll become roast marshmallow don't tell me the entire Sunday showcase is gonna is gonna be me in the bonus level That'd be kind of crazy, because it's like, I, I, I was trying to showcase the rest of the games, but... Oh, I missed that piece of gold. Yeah, they have some tricky jumps in here. Uh, the game stays fresh, so that's a thing. Oh, there is an end to this level. That's a lot of gold. I just missed missed one, because, uh... Well, I kind of knew you should have jumped, but I wasn't sure. I thought maybe he could have just walked into it, or walked off of it. And that was the first time I actually beat, like, the bonus level without getting hit. Usually I die immediately off the bat. Wee, wee, wee. I'm still not sure what those plus signs are. They're not health. I th are they multipliers? This game is relatively simple, at least from the Zone 1 places I've been playing. That got me quite a few times early on. You just gotta really watch how your guide bit trip jumps. And my friend George the Hitman is playing Nuclear Thrones. Yeah. Damn it, I missed the gold. Oh, whatever. I already got a gold piece before. Wee, beep, beep. It's like a heart rate monitor. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Well, we're not here to show off the bonus stages, we're here to show off the game. And even though it's spring, Fuckface Furnace actually still manages to live on. Even though it's actually getting a lot warmer, which is nice. That's, that, that's, that's the caterpillar from the big fat caterpillar from that one book. That classic child children's book that every kid has at least been read to. The game does get more, does uh, have more obstacles and things you gotta cont gotta watch out for. So it does eventually, you know, have more stuff going for it. So that's good. It keeps the game fresh. All right, another bonus. I wonder does it does it actually change? Collect gold. Is it the same thing? I don't really know. No, it's not. I got hit by that thing. That, those ones are pretty tough, having to jump and then grab the gold and then slide. Crater Raider. What are these, Donkey Kong stage level names? I'm cool with that, because Donkey Kong Country was is good. I was going to say was, but that means it used to be good. And then it's like you go back to it and it's not so good. Which is not true. I would still play it. It's still a really good game that holds up. Unless you're an angry bald man. By the way, oh, speaking of which, because I was just it just struck me. I turned to 24 last week. So yays to me, I'm a year older, and apparently I'm still considered a youngling, youngling there, but I'm not going to complain about that. I don't usually think about it, because I still think I'm stuck in some, like, in my 20s. Are you serious? That's what happens, the whole entire stage resets if you hit something, so you can never really lose, you just, you'll eventually make progress, so that's kind of interesting. An interesting way to say, oh, you died, but here, continue again. So we gotta go through this entire thing all over again. And it's kinda hard to judge your jumps when the camera kinda goes below and you gotta just be a little bit more patient about it. 
that UFO you, you 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 can't do anything to other than to just avoid. First time I thought it was like it was like the Space Invader UFO and you hit it for like bonus points or something. Actually, I probably could have kicked it in the face, but I'm this far on the level, so I don't want to do that. You can usually tell when the level's about to end when uh, you reach a gold capacity. I can't believe I did, I did not hit that. Because I thought I would have. Copyright 2010. Don't know why it brings that up. Maybe because this is this level is actually from... Uh, or the level design is actually from Pitfall and I didn't press down. I pressed left. Because that's the down button. Unstoppable Mr. Video? What the heck is that? Oh, here it tells you about the kick. And you basically kick crystals in the face. Come on. There you are. I don't think you can jump over them. But hey, kicking is a lot more fun. Music is very, very calming and nice. So that's also a really good, cool thing. No, I want the gold. Actually, I should not have cared about that. I haven't tried to see if uh, you could play this on a controller. Because that would also be very, very nice. Watcha! That's what Bruce Lee says when he... Uh, asked for a drink. He wants what? Oh, whatever. I don't like the platform jumping. I did not do that on purpose, I swear. Mm, if only I could speed up. Maybe that's an ability later on, because sometimes there's just these slow sections, like right here. Kind of makes me think of that, um... Ah, uh, what was it? Serious Sam game on, uh... On the smartphone tablet thingy. I was playing that where you, where you play as, uh... Those get the, the headless... And you try to kill Serious Sam while you do a whole bunch of other stuff. It was kind of annoying quite a few times, but, you know, it was kind of fun, nonetheless. Simple fun, not complex, not, not like, triple-A, triple-A fun, but it was just fun. I see what I'm talking about, you don't even, you almost can't even see the board. That was awfully short, I must say. Yeah, that's, that's what he does at the beginning, just play a guitar. What happens if you get gold, get all the gold? Oh, come on! I did not hit that. Well, it is only just a bonus stage that you can go back and play. Junior... Melchkin? What? What's a Melchkin? Is it is that the thing? That that robot in the background is a Melchkin? Whee! I don't know, it really amuses me when he slides on his ass. It's like, eee, ass mambo, ass mambo, ass mambo, ass mambo, ass mambo, ass mambo, ass mambo. It's like Rambo, but with a bit more ash. Ash Mambo. Ooh, Ash Mambo. Watcha! Watcha, Ash Mambo. Watcha, Ash Mambo. He just like butt slides everywhere. Ash Mambo, Ash Mambo. Watcha! Ash Mambo. Ash Mambo. Ash Mambo. Watcha! Ash Mambo. Watcha! Ash Mambo. Jump. Ash Mambo. Heart of Gold. It's not the Heart of Darkness now, is it? Which, uh, I believe. Almer you were arc go did a review on. Which was also pretty fun. I should watch that again. Ace Mambo. I'm not hitting that. That's tough. That's pretty tough. It's like, ow, I hit myself in the shins. Jabble Smagbler. Oh, the springs right here. You do all you have to do is just hold up. You don't actually have to like hit it on spot like uh, I originally thought. So that made it made it a lot easier. Good design there. Ace Mambo. I don't know what that skeleton is. How did I miss that? Oh great, now I gotta go through this again. Ass Mambo. Ass Mambo. Ass Mambo. Ass, 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 Mambo. I guess maybe a checkpoint would have been nice, but... I don't know, this game just... It's not that long, so it's almost like you don't really need one. But you know, it would have been kind of nice. Like, oh, do you want to use a checkpoint? Because, you know, you got this far. That didn't even look like I should have gotten all of them. Oh, no! Cut forward, fast forward, man! Eh, kind of awkward to play with the uh, buttons they... The button options that they gave you. I prefer the uh, D-pad. Or the arrow keys, I should say. But it's good to know that there are options. It's always a good thing. Unlike, say, certain games like Fear 2, where you don't have any options to change your controls. And a few other games, which usually can make a... Potentially good game, bad, like, uh, like Super Metroid would have been a bad game if it wasn't for the fact you could change your controls. The bonus kit looks like it says Conquest. Might as well, right? I'm pretty sure this was Pitfall, or that the level design is Pitfall. Screwed that up. 
almost thought that said Shambler's groin. It's grown. Ass bambo. Ass bambo. So I'm trying to find a uh, figure out something to work for the next video, but uh, I haven't really thought of. Well, I have scripts. I just don't know which one to work on. I wanted to work on uh, something that's related to the month of March. That's significant to me. How did I hit that? Fast forward. Fast forward. Ah, oh, this is so slow. Not that I wanted to be super fast, but just like fast forward. Oh, come on. No. Jeez. Oh, it's annoying. It's like I, I just did. I did not hit that. You lie, game. You lie. You lie like a bitch. Come on. This is about. Whoops. Sorry, I forgot about that. Or I forgot to just, like, ass mambo that. Or in other words, just let me fall. Ass mambo. Man, that's like going down the stairs and or sliding down the stairs on your. on your butt. I like the springs, they make a fun noise. Ooh, that was close. Alright, after this one, that will be the end. Alright, let's see if we can get all 75 if this game does not screw me over. Or I screw myself over. Oh, come on! Bullshit. Well, that's it for that. So, thanks for tuning in on this episode of Sunday Showcase on uh, Bit Trip Runner. It, it's actually a pretty fun game, at least compared to the other one not that I was playing. I think it was the 3DS one. But, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode of it. And this is Whisper 100 you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. Be sure to go vote on my site, LazyWorksCreations.com, to vote for... to have your... the viewer choice of games, in terms of games, I meant uh, consoles that you would suggest that I would go... that you all vote on to... for me to play, and then I would pick a game from that library of games and just play it and show off my collection. So, if anything, stay tuned for more as I work on videos and stuff for your entertainment. See ya!